Ladies and gentlemen, crazy things are happening today. Automatic 1111 was removed from GitHub. It has been reinstated since, so no worries there. But there's a lot more to this story that you should check out. Now, first of all, the most important part here is if this ever happens again, you can actually use Automatic 1111 completely offline. For that, what you want to do is to right click on your web UI user.bat, show more options, click on edit and then simply remove git pull which will usually automatically update a1111 but it also tries to connect to github so if it can't you can't start it so simply delete this part here save the file close it double click on the web ui minus user.bat and as you can see here automatic 1111 is starting just fine without any connection to the internet now there have been a lot of allegations out there of what might have been happened. Was it an attack by the anti-AI crowd mass reporting this AI project? We don't really know, maybe GitHub is going to tell us in the future, but for now it's just a speculation. User Gyro speculates that this might have to do with not safe for work embeddings on the automatic 1111 page. So as we can see here for finding embeddings online, it says that GitHub has kindly asked to remove all the links here. If they are not safe to work or there's any other problem with that, or it might still be mass reporting, we don't quite know. But there is more behind that because there was also this speculation of racism from the developer of automatic 1111. Now here are multiple cases. I looked into them, did some research to figure out if this is actually the case. First, I saw this allegation here on Discord where one of the repositories by automatic 1111 says white only. And of course, this seems pretty on the nose for racism. But when you look deeper into that project, you will see that automatic Automatic is also developing mods for a game called RimWorld and there he has different mods that are called black only, yellow only and white only. Now the naming for that is not exactly smart so I can understand how this confusion can happen but when you understand that this game is a sci-fi colony sim where you have different ethnicities, different groups of society, it makes a certain sense that you have mods that can create specifically these ethnicities. Now there was a second allegation that Automatic has created a list of artists and then behind the names of black artists he added the token comma n and that looks very suspicious so i went into that file and checked out the different names and some of the artists that have the comma n tag are actually black but you will also find this tag with the artist matty carwine and as you can see on wikipedia this is actually a french painter with german origin and you can clearly see from the photo that this is not a black artist but you will also find that the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat does not have the comma and token behind his name. And he of course is a very famous black painter. So this token has to stand for something else. And I think with this new information, we can at least in these two cases rule out that there is any kind of racist background or racist concept behind these mods and behind the tag in the list. A big shout out to Freebo from the Stable Diffusion Discord who found the Steam community links to the different mods so we can verify that this is for a video game. And also a shout out to the other users in the community like Tribo who helped me to dig deeper into the data. And of course, as I said, the GitHub page for Automatic 1111 has been reinstated by GitHub. We don't know what's going on, but the project is back. And I'm absolutely happy that we have the project back and there is no racist history as far as I can see. So as you see, it really makes a lot of sense to dig into the data, find out, ask questions to make sure if things just look a certain way or are actually a certain way. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.